Blue eyes have always been celebrated as the pinnacle of beauty, from iconic love stories to breathtaking works of art. But what if I told you that those captivating eyes, the ones millions adore, are actually the result of a genetic mutation? Sounds strange, right? How could that be? What exactly gives blue eyes their color? And how does this single trait connect everyone with it to a common ancestor? This is one story that's bound to catch your eye, literally. You might be surprised to learn that blue eyes, often considered the epitome of beauty, are actually a relatively recent phenomenon. With only about 8% of the world's population possessing them, this trait has been voted by millions across various cultures as one of the most sexually appealing features in humans. From stars like Jake Gyllenhaal, Britney Snow, Daniel Radcliffe, and Margot Robbie to the average Joe who lives down this street, blue eyes simply have something about them that makes one pause and wonder. So what if I told you the weirdest thing about blue eyes isn't that only 27% of people in the United States have them, it's not even the fact that they are not blue but colorless, or that they seem to change in different lighting. No, the real surprise is that blue eyes are a genetic mistake, a mistake that, for the most part, worked out really well. Let me explain. Blue eyes in all their glory are the result of a genetic mutation that occurred roughly between 6,000 and 10,000 years ago. This mutation marked a significant departure from the more common brown eye trait found in early humans and occurred in the OCA2 gene, which affects melanin production in the iris. The weird thing here is that blue eyes are not the result of multiple mutations, but rather the result of a single genetic change that reduces melanin in the eye, giving it its lighter color. The genetic mutation that caused blue eyes is believed to have arisen in a population living in Northern Europe, specifically here in the Black Sea region, where reduced sunlight in this area is believed to have contributed to the spread of this trait. To make things even more interesting, it turns out everyone with blue eyes shares a common ancestor. That's right, research shows that the blue eye mutation originated from one person, and all modern-eyed blue individuals can trace their lineage back to this single genetic event. But how do we even know this? We can be sure of this because studies of mitochondrial DNA reveal a shared H1 haplotype in over 97% of blue-eyed people, essentially pointing to a singular origin. For those who don't know, mitochondrial DNA, aka mtDNA, is passed from mothers to all their children, but only daughters pass it on to future generations. This DNA tends to change more slowly over time compared to nuclear DNA, making it a useful tool for tracing maternal ancestry. This means all your blue-eyed stars and a good amount of today's populations are related by a common ancestor from Northern Europe. This story is actually wilder, and we'll cover it in a different video, but for now, Let's focus on the blue eye origins. Now, besides its strange origin, another fascinating thing about this seductive eye color is the fact that you can be born with it even if both your parents have brown eyes. This is because blue eyes are a recessive gene and can skip generations before re-emerging in an offspring. Now that we know its origin, we have to ask why it evolved in the first place. And this is a very tricky question. For the longest of times, blue eyes have intrigued scientists due to their evolution and, of course, their sheer appeal. And while we can't say with 100% certainty why they evolved, researchers have put forward multiple theories to explain the prevalence of blue eyes today. Of these theories, one of the most widely accepted theories is that blue eyes may have provided an evolutionary advantage through sexual selection. This theory suggests that certain physical traits, like blue eyes, can become more desirable over time if they increase an individual's chances of reproducing. It's believed in early human societies, blue-eyed individuals may have been perceived as more attractive or unique due to the rarity of the trait, something we see playing out today. This phenomenon is also something called the Paul Newman effect. Yes, that Paul Newman. The name references the actor's iconic blue eyes, which contributed largely to his widespread appeal. Studies show that eye color can influence perceptions of attractiveness, and even up until today, some modern populations still demonstrate a preference for blue eyes. Essentially, if blue-eyed individuals were seen as more attractive, they may have had a higher likelihood of reproducing, thereby passing on the gene for blue eyes to future generations. This in the end would have contributed to the gene's persistence in certain populations, especially in Europe, where blue eyes are most common today. A different, less sexual theory claimed that blue eyes may have offered an advantage in low-light conditions. It claimed lighter-colored eyes, including blue, may allow for better vision in dimmer conditions, which could have been beneficial for survival in northern latitudes with long, dark winters. However, this idea is still heavily contested, as some studies have found little to no difference in visual acuity between light and dark-colored eyes in low light. 
If that idea wasn't weird enough, then here's a more intriguing twist. Some researchers actually suggest that having blue eyes might help in coping with seasonal affective disorder, ironically abbreviated as SAD. For those who don't know, SAD is a seasonal type of depression that strikes during the darker months of autumn and winter, when reduced sunlight disrupts the body's internal clock and serotonin levels. This leads to symptoms like low energy, sleep disturbances, changes in appetite, trouble focusing, and even feelings of sadness or hopelessness. Now, while there's no solid proof that blue eyes directly improve adaptation to low light environments, this hypothesis sparks a fascinating question. Could blue eyes have offered a subtle survival advantage in darker climates, influencing health and emotional well-being? Well, science is still on the fence at the moment, but what do you think? With your answer in mind, let's shift focus a bit and look at how blue eyes evolved and managed to spread across the globe. We mentioned before that blue eyes emerged roughly 6,000 to 10,000 years ago. However, what we didn't mention was that this timeline coincides almost perfectly with major human migrations and cultural transformations, notably during the Neolithic period. And this was the secret behind their sudden global spread. As we've established initially, the blue eyes mutation likely appeared in a single individual, but as humans began migrating from areas near the Black Sea, particularly towards northern Europe, blue eyes quickly became more prevalent. And that was because light eye colours, including blue, became increasingly common as people moved to regions where such traits were favoured. Following this, the transition from a nomadic hunter-gatherer lifestyle to settled agricultural societies during the Neolithic period further allowed for higher population densities. And as the populations grew, traits like blue eyes became more prominent due to selective mating and the fact that they were perceived as desirable. Today, archaeological and genetic evidence suggests that regions like the Iberian Peninsula and Central Europe played very crucial roles in the intermingling of populations, and yes, you guessed it, the spread of blue eyes. Basically, the interactions between local hunter-gatherers and farming communities led to a genetic mosaic with blue eyes emerging as a distinct feature among mixed descendants. Throw in the fact that it is a recessive gene, and you can quickly see how this gene could have been passed by both those with blue eyes and those without them. But how do we know so much about the spread of blue eyes? Well, that's all thanks to the discovery of the Cheddar Man. Weird name aside, the Cheddar Man is a 10,000-year-old skeleton found in Goff's Cave in Somerset, England. His remains are the reason we know so much about blue eyes as his genetic analysis revealed that Cheddar Man, an ancient Briton, had blue eyes and dark skin. The Cheddar Man discovery quickly broadened our understanding, as it supports the theory that blue eyes were present in early European populations well before the arrival of farming practices around 6,000 years ago. It suggested that individuals with blue eyes were already part of Britain's hunter-gatherer communities, with genetic traits blending over time even in the absence of agricultural migrations. But besides the blue eyes, this discovery was groundbreaking for another reason altogether. It essentially challenged modern assumptions about early Europeans, as Cheddar Man's appearance suggested a blend of traits not typically associated with the region's later settlers, who were often depicted with lighter skin tones and hair. The more you dive into the phenomenon of blue eyes, the more you realise just how unique this trait truly is. In fact, among the over 600 primate species alive today, only humans and the elusive blue-eyed black lemur share this rare feature. Even across the broader animal kingdom, blue eyes are an exception rather than the norm. Most mammals actually sport darker hues like brown or amber, making the discovery of blue irises in creatures such as the mutant blue-eyed coyotes of California absolutely jaw-dropping. Sure, some pets like dogs and cats flaunt this striking eye colour, but in many cases, it's a result of human intervention. Breeders often prioritise aesthetics, ensuring traits like blue eyes persist. In Arctic animals such as the mesmerising Siberian huskies, blue eyes stand out dramatically against snowy landscapes. Because of this, it's tempting to think this trait evolved as an adaptation to their icy environment. However, science tells a different story. Researchers have traced this eye colour to a duplication on chromosome 18 near the ALX4 gene, a mutation that affects pigmentation rather than survival. Unlike humans, whose blue eyes can increase UV sensitivity, there's no evidence that these dogs face similar risks in bright, snowy conditions. For them, it's a case of unique genetics, not environmental necessity. In humans, having the coveted blue eyes comes with a huge risk, as from a medical perspective, blue-eyed individuals often experience increased sensitivity to light due to their lower melanin levels in the iris. 
And that's because melanin generally serves as a protective factor against UV damage by filtering harmful rays. This simply means blue-eyed people may have a heightened risk for various light-induced health issues, including ocular uveal melanoma, age-related macular degeneration, and increased glare sensitivity. In the end, blue eyes, while potentially beneficial in terms of light reflection in dim conditions, come with inherent health risks that demand attention regarding proper eye protection, especially in sunny environments. As we try to unravel the mystery of this stunning trait, one thing is clear. There's more to the story than meets the eye, literally. But what do you think? Are they just an accidental genetic quirk, or do they hold the key to something much deeper about human evolution? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay tuned. Until next time, stay curious.